tips of your fingers and listen to the sound of my voice. In a moment, I'm going to count to three and snap my fingers. When I do, separate just your index fingers about an inch. Stare at the space in between, and you will feel very powerful magnets on the tips of your fingers, bringing them back together. That's right. The tips of your fingers will fat become magnetized together. You make it real in your mind. So don't fight it. Don't try to resist. Just want it to happen. Know it will happen. Expect it to happen. And I promise you, on the count of three, it will happen. Here we go. One, two, three. Separate your index fingers about an inch. Stare at the space in between and allow those very powerful magnets to get up right contact together. Rashly get clenched. Come on down now, closer and closer together. And as I'm winding a string around your fingers, wind a string tighter and tighter and tighter together. Three, two, one, back together. You've got movement. Round of applause if you've got movement. <laughs> so tonight, we're going to have some amazing experiences of the mind. And I find that people that are most open to that kind of experience have already had sort of sixth sense experiences of their own. By a show of hands, who out there has ever been to a psychic? Great. Here's what I'd like you to do. If you've ever been to a psychic before and you own an iPhone, take that iPhone out, press the button at the bottom so it lights up and hold it up in the air. The lovely mental apps will now join me here on the stage and we're going to select someone from amongst you to have a thought experiment. So if you've been to a psychic before and you have an iPhone, touch the button, hold it high in the air, and we see a couple of them so far. Also, if you're here with a significant other, raise their hands in the air so we see both of you. Alright? And I see right there, give me something. Let's go on out to the audience, please. And uh, right there, are you, are you with someone here tonight? You're all by yourself? Alright, well, uh, let's see. I don't know how to do that. Uh, we got two over there. Maybe a little bit farther. We've all been picking people from that table all night. Um, We've got up here, the two of you. Yeah, you're here as a, what, oh, we've got you two as well? Yeah, sure, right there. And she's all excited to come up. I love, just her though, just, just her. Yeah, yeah, just, no, just you for the moment. Come on up. Yeah. No? Bring the phone, that's right. Right on the mic. What's your name? Shelby. Say again? Shelby. Shelby, like a car? Perfect, let's give Shelby a big round of applause. Right over there. Now, Shelby, just verify on the mic, have we ever met before? No. Very important to establish that. I'm not going to set up in this show. Nobody that I use on stage have I ever uh, met. You did bring your iPhone on stage, correct? Is it, is it uh, locked? Is it a lock code? Yeah. On it? No, 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 no. There's no lock code? No. Ooh. <laughs> Usually, the start of the show is me unlocking the person's phone, but you did my job for me, so on with the rest of it. All right. Uh, let's just take a look at your photos for a minute, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that left the one lock, lady. I don't know if I would put that one on Instagram. All right, so here, we've got uh, your calculator app up and zero out, correct? correct? People in the audience, get a three-digit number in your mind. If you're standing near the main event and you have a three-digit number in mind, raise your hand, she'll come over to you. And others, is there a kid over there? Yeah, shout out. And punch the three-digit number right in. 236. Say again. 236. You do it. 236. You can hold on to your own phone. 336. Get multiplied. Great. Anybody near them have another three digit number? Raise your hand. She'll come around to you. You'll say it into the mic now. 325. Put that in. 325. Get multiplies. Put in your own three digit number. Doesn't matter which. Hit equals. And right into the mic. Tell us that number. I'll write it real big here on the board. 922. One seven one one zero six. Is that correct? Okay, so therefore it's nine hundred twenty-two million one hundred seventy-one thousand one hundred and six. Correct? Imagine if we all won the lottery tonight, pulled our winnings, and came up with that. That'd be a pretty good night. Well, I made a prediction a little bit earlier in the evening, sealed it in an AT8 case, which is above the stage, and we'll see how I'll do a little bit later. But in the meantime, I want to verify, is that a random number? Yeah. No. Stop the music. Stop the music! <laughs> it is not a random number. Everything in the show has meaning. Everything is going to blow your mind. And this, in particular, you'll remember for the rest of your lives. Because tonight is the ninth month of the year, September. 22nd, 2017, and if you check your phones and watches, you'll find it's exactly 11.06! Well, that was fun. What should we do now? I'm good. Wait, what? I feel like I should give her a prize. Should I give her
bigger prize for coming on our end. But if you want to win, you got to play. So write the secret number on the board, and we'll step right over here. Now, as you know, she could win one of six fabulous prizes. We're going to bring some number cards out here in a moment. And on the back of those numbers are prizes that indicate whatever it says, I will do. I will do for her. But I don't want to influence her choice, okay? If I could do that very easily, if I asked you to think of a number, uh, I'm sure I can guess ahead of time whatever we. Uh, say a number between one and six. Go ahead. Two. Two. No, it was three. It was pretty close. So you'll get it next time. But in order not to do that to her, I've wrote, written a bunch of numbers, one through six, on this pad here so we can randomize her choice. If she's done, just fold that up, come on right over here. I'll show you what I mean. Everybody think of a two-digit number less than 50, a two-digit number less oh. than 50, both odd, both different from one another. <laughs> two-digit number less than 50, both odd, both different. Take a deep breath in, know the number now. By round of applause, who's thinking of the number 37? Applause is both hands making noise. Hands are occupied. Most of you. Is she not? If so, come on right over here. Perfect. And I let's find out what prize you're going to win. The 69 is out. One through six. As I indicated earlier, I've written all those numbers on this notepad so you can make a random selection. Put your thumb out, stick it in, pull it up, tell us what number. Yes, yeah, I guess. Here we go. Five. Five. Okay. Five it is. Whatever it says on the back of these number cards, that is what I will do to you. All right, here we go. Oh! Oh! Lucky you! Come on, bring it on in! I'm so glad you chose five. <laughs> I don't want to laugh. <laughs> you said you were here with a significant other, right? What's that person's name? Brian. Say it. Brian. Brian. Brian, are you down there? Would you like to join us on stage? We have some lovely coming to the stage music for Ryan. But you get her so fancy in his black ball cap and Guy Harvey, long sleeve shirt in 90 degree Florida weather. Don't give anything for fashion. Just here we go, into the mic. We've never met before, have we? No, we haven't. Perfect. Now, you've been together how long? Uh, six, seven months. Is he correct? Yeah. And in all that time, do you feel that you've gotten to know each other to the point where you finish each other's... Sentence. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he he know. It's only six or seven, like six or seven years. <laughs> that do you ever feel like it's difficult to figure out what she's thinking? Uh, yeah. All the time, right? <laughs> Do you ever feel like it's difficult to figure out what he's feeling? I guess so. Well, I'll tell you something. We do have something called the sixth sense. It's the intuitive sense. It's the power to sort of figure out what's going on inside the other person, regardless of what they say, regardless of what you see. But I feel like we blind ourselves to that reality because we rely on our sense of sight so much. So we're going to do a little experiment here where I'll eliminate my sense of sight with this stainless steel blindfold. Feel free to check it out. And activate that sixth sense. It'll tell us the truth of the reality that lies beneath. I have two big band-aids here. Take one of them, take it out of the wrapper if you would. You can do it. <laughs> Great. In a moment, I'll have these band-aids over my eyes, the blindfolds over that, eliminating my sense of sight. At that point, each of you take one of these boards with the lines on it at that point, not going to. And one of these large markers, one of you will write a word, big block letters over the line, the other will draw a simple picture. You can write any word in the English language, you can draw any picture. When you're done, just put the board down, put your tap, my tap me on the shoulder, and I'll know. Are we ready? Here we go. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. You can see it. I always think I'm going to take the blindfold off at the end and there won't be any lines left. <laughs> Cue the spooky music. Let's go. Just make sure these are on, yes? Good. Okay. <laughs> Hand me that blindfold. You'll draw a picture over the line, and he'll write big block letters any word over the line of the other board. And just verify audibly if you're satisfied that there's no way I can see down the front of the room. Is he there? Yeah, cool. Same thing, just verify there's no way for me to see anything. Great, begin to write, begin to draw now. Yes? 
it's a word or a picture? Picture. Picture. Please take the cap off the marker and hand it to me. Point down. I'm not sure what I'm feeling here. Is this something abstract? Yeah? Because I'm getting like, sort of like the top of the Simpsons hair. And then, is this like a fire pit? Yes? Well, let me know my applause, otherwise I Great. Look at the other board. Where's the other board? Great. Is it like this? Does this have a word on it? Word. Yeah. Face up, word. face out. Face out. Focus on the first letter of the word, think it. Project it mentally to me. By round of applause, are you thinking the letter F? Yes. Yeah. I said write any word in the English language without restriction. It could be any F word. So if you think about, <laughs> it's true. In the future, I'm going to say, hey. is this a word that I can write? Yes. And still be invited back? Yes. yes. Right. It is an F word. I'm getting a sense of motion, of movement. Does this make sense? Yeah. Sort of a fluid form in water. Does that make sense? Are you guys all thinking of a fish? Please recap. Now look, verify. Is my vision sealed the way I can see down around or through? Same thing? Great. And this is for you? And this is for you. Thank you so much. Now don't go anywhere, because I'm going to transfer this skill set to you guys. How would you like to know what the other person is feeling? So the one person will have the experience, and the other person will get it. With the other person's thinking, with the other person's feeling, you will be connected. Just take your forefinger right now and touch it to the tip of the other person. Take a deep breath in, look into the left eye. Look at each other's left eye. Take a deep breath in. Release, relax, have a seat right here, right now. Great. Point to the part of your body where you 
anything in your face in particular? Your what? My nose. Your nose, that's right. Look at him. Look at him. I tapped him on the nose. Did I touch her at all? No. Not at all. You did it right. Don't second like guess yourself. That's all right. We're going to take it to another level now. Just relax. Now go ahead and open your eyes. Breathe. Breathe in. You're doing great. See, a hundred years ago, people were much more accustomed to these sort of sixth sense experiences. And back then, they didn't go to psychics, they went to what they called spiritualists. And they would use blackboards like this to receive messages from the dead. I'm gonna do things in the old way. Sometimes the old methods are the best. I've now wiped off the four sides of the four of the two blackboards. I'd like you to put your left hand on a table, your right hand on the top of it, don't drop it. You may feel another sensation, just like you felt a tingle through your whole body a moment ago. You may feel that again now. I'm gonna use a piece of chalk and see if we get some of the spirits here tonight. Break the chalk, place it inside. Great, hold it tight. Now on the mic, you said before we brought you up here that you have visited a psychic in the past and you're open to such experiences, yes? Yes. Take your mind back, back, back in time to your childhood. You're thinking of a person, that was important to you in your childhood now, yes? Someone that's passed on? Yes. To someone that was not only important to you, but your whole family? Yes. Something about your mother, your mother's side, does that make sense? Was it, was it, was it a female? Yes. Yes. Was, it, was this your, like your grandmother? A fresh, you, did she fulfill that role in your life? No. Was your older, an older lady that was close to your family? woman that was close to your family that's now passed on? Mm -hmm. You just said she was close to your family, is that true? Uh, I guess still true as it was about 30 seconds ago? Yeah. Yes. I'll tell you what, let's move on. <laughs> Those that have passed on never really leave us if we hold them in our hearts, in our minds, and do them the service of saying their name from time to time. That way they live on through us. For the first time, say this person's name out loud. Gabby? Everyone go like this. And do this now. Say, whisper, Gabby, Gabby. Did you feel something? You did, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. If we summoned her spirit, she'll make her presence known tonight. Oh. Yeah. 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 Now. Let's hear it for both of you. Thank you for participating. Check the mentions, because this is our fourth show tonight, so there's lots of ideas there. 
for characters, candy, and monsters. And if you want to add your ideas, go ahead and do it now. We're going to add Joshua Seth in one tweet with the name of any kind of a character, a superhero, a costume character, a cartoon character, and your favorite candy and a scary monster. Go ahead and tweet that now. Again, the Metroids are still out here with the microphones. Just choose any character and do it on the mic. You have one? Freddy Krueger. Well, that will be a scary monster, so we'll hold on to that for the end. Someone over here on this side, I can't see where our other men's left is. If there's someone on the mic, just raise your hand if you have a character name in mind. Superman. Superman! See, that's a character. All right. Superman. Ubiquitous. Like many people that win the lottery, you have blown most of it. But you blew it on a good thing. You decided to engage in experimental surgery to turn you into Superman. And guess what? It works. You're now Superman. You're so excited. You fly back here to Bush Gardens and you get your favorite candy and your supply of it for everybody. Who's it going to be? What's that candy? Reese's. Reese's. Reese's what? Peanut butter cup. Reese's cups. Reese's cups. Everybody's favorite. Reese's cups. Everybody gets Reese's cups tonight. But nobody loves Reese's cups more than Superman himself, who stuffs his face full of so many that he can hardly breathe. And here's the thing, when you get scared, you always go, Ooh, like this, but you can't really do it when you have a lot of Reese's Cups in your mouth. What was that monster name again? Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger comes in, scares Superman, and he goes, Ugh. but he just inhales a bunch of Reese's Cups, and he dies. <laughs> he dies. Happy Halloween. He dies from fright from seeing Freddy Krueger. And here's the amazing thing. I knew all this would happen. I predicted all of it in that box. Hanging there above the stage before he came in this evening. I knew the numbers he would save in the lottery. I knew the character, the candy, and the monster. And I think it's about time we found out what's inside that box. What's in the box? Here we go. Jesus!